now here we will be discussing AWS VPC VPC mean virtual private cloud uh, we will be discussing what is VPC then what is default VPC how to create a VPC using wizard this is very important topic now when we talk about networking uh, uh, whenever we are going to create uh, any instance whether it is window instance or Linux uh, instance it will be given one default uh, private address now which address will be given it will be decided by the uh, IP addresses range that are in default VPC now when we talk about uh, AWS region like Mumbai now we know that it has got three availability zones are there zone A uh, which is called AP South 1A A. then we have got availability zone B AP South 1B and then uh, availability zone C AP South 1C now when we talk about this the uh, by default the default VPC addresses are 172 31.0.0 slash 16 that means whenever we are going to create any instance in Mumbai region it will be given the address from this range then further uh, it has been divided into three subnets 172.31.32.0 that means if we are going to launch here uh, we will get the uh, private address from this range and if it is zone B we will get from this range 172.31.0.0 slash 20 and if it is zone C we will get from this address so this is called default VC but sometimes what happen the private addresses which are given by the default VPC we are not comfortable with those addresses now each admin has got their own uh, networking preferences so when we talk about the addresses uh, these are the private addresses uh, that we normally use some people are more comfortable with 192.168.0.0 slash 16 range uh, which contains addresses from 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.255.255 this range sometimes the people are uh, comfortable with this range in my case I am comfortable with this range 172.16.0.0 slash uh, 12 in my case I normally use uh, 172.24.0.0 that range then some are comfortable with 10.0.0.8 that means now when we have to create uh, physical labs we can give any of uh, these uh, addresses when we have to configure private addresses now VPC give you this option that means if you are going to create custom VPC your own VPC you can keep the addresses according to your needs that is the ad advantage of uh, uh, creating your uh, new virtual VPC uh, uh, I mean uh, creating your virtual private cloud VPC that means the range you prefer you can give now when we talk about what about the other reason if we are going to talk about uh, uh, this uh, OU region again uh, uh, if we are going to create an availability zone A we will be given the address from this subnet if it is B it will be given uh, from this subnet and if it is C it will be given and please re remember if you are going to launch instance in availability zone A in Mumbai region you will be given from this range here uh, from this availability zone A uh, this is that mean addresses could uh, can be different when we are going to launch in uh, availability zone A of Mumbai region or availability zone A of your AWS region now uh, let me show you let us go there now currently we are into Mumbai region so in our case we are going to select the service VPC so we can we are going to search for VPC so we are going to say VPC so when we click on this you will see that uh, one default VPC is there what it is saying one VPC is there how many subnets three subnets are there then route table is there internet gateway is there network ACL is there uh, uh, 
by default already we have created two security group is there so when we are going to click on this vpc you will see that uh, this is the address 172 17 uh, 31.0.0 16 so this is the default vpc that means it will be given this addresses and how many subnets are there corresponding to three uh, your subnets or zones three subnets are available now look at this 172 uh, 31 16.0 slash 20 it is in which zone that is uh, ap uh, south 1c this uh, uh, in uh, ap south 1a it is 32 and in ap south 1b it is your uh, 172 uh, 31.0.0 so this is the and uh, the one id is also there ap1 is it that mean if we are going to launch the instance private addresses will be given from these range like uh, normally if in our organization we want to create uh, labs generally it is not one lab it could be two labs it could be three labs it could be four labs so here what we can do we have got uh, uh, three subnets mean uh, the three sub different subnets are available so we can uh, uh, use those subnets so that is default vpc so when again we talk about uh, uh, the different region this range is same that mean each uh, uh, whatever is the region this is the default vpc addresses so from this range now we do not want this what we want we want to create our own range our own preference we will see that how to create that vpc uh, and please uh, remember one thing uh, uh, you will be also when you launch the instance you will also be given one a real ip also so when we are going to create uh, our vpc uh, then we have to define whether that vpc is your public uh, um, vpc or private vpc if it is a public vpc then you will get one real address also so that we will be looking at into